Get yourself a glass bowl, we're going to make the marinade but also the oil that you're going to use to fry off the pepper and the onion as well because we're going to take a tablespoon out to fry the veggies and the rest are going to coat the chicken. As you can see there, I just whisked that through so it makes that kind of paste. What we're going to do though is take a tablespoon out of this and put it into the frying pan that you're going to use to fry your veggies. In the meantime though, we want to chop up the chicken. I'm just going to do it in mini fillets because I want it to coat as much as possible um, and allow it to sit in this for ideally 30 minutes um, minimum. But if you can do it a few hours or even overnight in the fridge, that'd be even better. So I'm just going to take the chicken fillets and cut them into mini fillets. Don't buy the mini fillets because they're always a hell of a lot more expensive for a minute's work. Once you've cut up your mini fillets, get your bowl. You've already taken a tablespoon out to put in the frying pan and put your milli, milli fillets. I'm named after someone called Millie. Or a Millie, a Millie, a Millie. There we go, and give it a stir so that it coats the surface area of the chicken. And we're gonna leave that off to the side to sit in that for, as I said, minimum 30 minutes. If you can do longer, do longer. And we're gonna go on to prepping the veg now. So next is the veg, red pepper and onion. Make sure that you either wash your chopping board or flip it over. We don't wanna be cutting on raw chicken. Um, basically, I'm just gonna slice these up finely and same with that. And as I've just done with the pepper, put it in the dish on top of the tablespoon of oil and spice mix. And what we're going to do is heat it up in a medium heat and soften the veggies. Whilst they're softening, get your halloumi, open it up, get rid of the excess water and bring it back to the chopping. We're going to fry this halloumi. And when I mean fry, I do mean deep fry. I just did that. So cut yourself in half and then into sections so that we're going to create little cubes you can do them as big as small as you want but i want them to fit in a wrap so i'm going to do cubes about that size and then put that off to one side in a bowl get yourself an oven dish line it with foil and I've had the chicken sitting out for probably about an hour and a half now so I'm just going to chuck all that in make sure it's lying flat and then we're going to cover it just with another square of foil put it in an oven that I've preheated to 200 degrees whilst that's cooking we're going to heat up vegetable oil on the hob as for frying the halloumi until it's ready for frying the halloumi, funnily enough. Once the oil's making shapes, you can drop a bit in, it's good to go, stick it all in. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that oil in my hands. Woo! Special shout out to Chris from Scran, who is the creator of these absolutely tasty babies. slotted spoon for this and we'll just keep checking until it's ready. We'll then float, that's them getting there but you'll start seeing some colour, that's what we're looking for so we want them to turn a nice golden brown before we take them out. This is what happens when you get distracted but we went a bit far, but we don't get them quite as far if you're paying attention. But take them out and put them on uh, some kitchen roll. And so I go through and watch some weird program about Princess Diana and Ow! That went my eye. Charles, and this happens. I ruined it. 
Anyway, and once you're 15 20 minutes of that, I want you to take the chicken out, unearth it, test it to make sure it's cooked through. I'll just use a knife. It's not, so I'm going to put that back in take for it back out. Checking it, looking better. Doesn't need to be perfect because we're going to finish it off in the pan anyway, so I'm a lot happier with that. The juices, everything. We're going to actually pull the chicken out, stick it in a chopping board, slice it up, and then chuck it in the pan. If you like fresh, warm chicken, you're not fussed about getting the caramelisation, then obviously you can just use that as is. I'm going to stick it on the hob for a wee bit just to crisp up the outsides. So, I'm going to fry these off, and you're going to put in your veggies as well. Crisp it up a wee bit and then put in your halloumi right at the end to heat through and then serve it wrapped up with your jalapeno salsa and sour cream. What you want to do is get yourself a wrap and assemble. Not Avengers assemble, fajita assemble. And then just freeze it, wrapped it up in tin foil and I'm going to slice it right down the middle. And that's your fajita.